Okay, so this is our chapter or module number 12, uh, WLAN concepts, so wireless LAN concepts. So this is a new addition in um, new CCNA. Uh, we didn't do not have this session in the previous version of CCNA. Uh, so in this version that they rolled out this year, uh, they added uh, wireless LAN concepts as well. Okay, so in this chapter, we're going to discuss uh, the basic introduction to to wireless, describe the wireless uh, LAN technologies and standards. We're also going to cover the component of uh, wireless LANs, the operations. We're going to look at what the CAP WAP is and how it operates. Uh, we're going to describe channel management in WLAN. And we're going to look at the various threat and how we can secure our wireless LAN. Okay, so this, these are the main objective for our uh, this session. So starting with the introduction to wireless. So what you before I start, what do you think uh, was the wireless is, uh, or any examples of uh, wireless technologies around you? That's true. Any example, Sahal? Okay, that's good. Uh, any other example, Sam? Maybe you want to add anything to it? Any other example of wireless? This is a good example. Router wireless very commonly used. Yeah, yeah. And there are two examples. You think when how when you pair two two mobile together, can this be a wireless Bluetooth technology? Yeah, so Bluetooth when you pair two two devices together, this is also wireless. Wireless uh, technology is anything that doesn't require wires uh, to connect two devices together. Okay, so this is something we're going to discuss today. So the ben introduction of the benefits of wireless. Obviously, we do not need any wires to connect to uh, devices together. We do not need a network infrastructure to be in place when you want to, uh, you know, have a communication between two devices. And uh, when it comes to wireless LAN, which is local area network, is a type of wireless network that is commonly used. You know, example is home network office network or campus environment you know in our college we we have access to the wireless especially to our phone and laptop we don't need any any ethernet cable to connect to the internet or to the company network or to the college network and also the web the v the wlans make uh, mobility possible within the home and business environment you don't have to carry the cables you know you can move from one class to another class without any interruptions and also the wireless infrastructures adapt to rapidly changing needs and technologies as well. Okay, so these are the, some of the advantages of uh, benefits of uh, wireless. <clears throat> Going forward, we have uh, different types of wireless network. The first one is the wireless PAN, which is personal area network. Uh, the examples are uh, Bluetooth, as I mentioned, or Jigby. Uh, they uh, they are the they are the common examples of um, WLAN. Uh, they <clears throat> are low powers um, and short range, so uh, the power is quite low, and also they can they only operate for short range. For example, from to 20 to 30 feet or 6 to 9 meters area. Okay, and uh, they are based on uh, IEEE standard 802.15, and uh, the frequency is 2.4 gigahertz. Whereas the wireless LAN, which is local area network, they operated uh, operated in much higher, much larger areas. Okay, it is um, it is about 300 feet. 
and the frequency is 2.4 and 5.0. This is a 5.0. Is all the new routers, even in in your home router, you might see. I, I'm not sure whether you got this one, but you might see if if you if you have newly installed the router, you might see two frequencies, 2.4 and 5.0. You know any difference between these um, these two? Which one is better? 2.4, 5.0. That's true. Perfect. And also, uh, just to add to that one, um, 2.4 can penetrate through the solid wall as well, while 5.0 uh, you can't. So, so based on your you know requirements and uh, the physical infrastructure, you may want to use um, the the one that suits to to your environment. But yes, 5.0 provide more um, bandwidth over 2.4. How about what to the limited um, frequency? And the next one is wireless MAN. As you know, this one is for metropolitan area, which connect, uh, which for, uh, you know, where the range is uh, within a city or district, uh, compared to wireless WAN, which, which where the range is between connecting to countries or global communication. Okay, so there are four different types of wireless networks. Now, technologies, uh, we have different technologies, wireless technologies already available. Bluetooth is one of the technologies. We are using it in our phone as well, you know, to connect uh, your earpod with your phone. You basically use a Bluetooth. And uh, uh, AirDrop is one of the, uh, another example um, of such technologies as well. And uh, with the Bluetooth, uh, as you know, its range, pairing range is 300 uh, feet, which is 100 meter. And there are two types of uh, Bluetooth radios available. One is called Bluetooth low energy. Another one is called Bluetooth basic rate or enhanced rate. Okay. Uh, the Bluetooth low energy, it support mesh technology, uh, topology. Okay, to a large scale network, while uh, the Bluetooth basic basic rate it supports a point to point topology. And uh, when you talk about Wi Fi Max, which is uh, worldwide inter interoperability for microwave access, uh, okay, this is a um, uh, its operation is quite similar how the Wi Fi operates, okay, but at higher speed and over greater distance and for a greater number of users. And this this technology is alternative to the broadband uh, wired internet connections, okay? And um, it operates uh, about 30 miles or 50 kilometers area. The next one is uh, in the list is called cellular broadband. Okay, uh, you, this is uh, this is where the phones comes in. Okay, uh, we use the, when you use the phone, there is no wired. While in the older time, if you remember, we used to have a have a phone telephone in the, at our home, and it used to connect with the wire telephone cable. Okay, but now the new phones, we do not need any any wire. We usually have. Um, an antenna on the phone are usually on the top side of a, of the phone and also you know where uh, on the laptop is on the top of the laptop for better connection and uh, in um, in cellular broadband we have two technologies that support this uh, uh, this functionality one is called a gsm another one is called cdma GSM means Global System of Mobile, and CDM is Code Division Multiple Access. GSM is uh, recognized uh, globally, while CDM is most popular in the uh, US. The fourth generation GSM network, which is 4G, you know, is the current mobile network. This is something that we're using these days. The 4G delivers speed that are 10 times faster than a 3G network. Uh, just for your information, CDM is sport 2G and uh, 3G, while GSM sport 3G and 4G as well. CDM it doesn't sport uh, 4G. And the 4G provide 10 times faster uh, speed than your uh, 3G networks. And, and the new uh, technologies, uh, which is a 5G, which is rolled out in certain cities, it's supposed to provide a much faster, uh, you know, the speed 
uh, over the 4G and also much secure. And the aim is to connect more devices to the internet with the 5G. Okay, that's our cellular net broadband. The next one is a satellite. Okay, uh, satellites are used, uh, you know, especially to connect a remote area where you cannot place the cables. Okay, can you give me any examples uh, of satellite broadband? Anything that you can think about? Or I can ask you one question. What do you think which technologies is used from all of these that I discussed on board ship? Yeah. So satellite one is the one that they, they use on the ships. Okay. Uh, the, so it's not being, uh, you know, outdated or anything, but they are very expensive compared to cellular or any other technologies and the speed is not that great okay it just just does the job uh, that's it and standards okay we have a various uh, standards now uh, impl in, so various implementation of ieee 8.2 which is one of the wireless standards uh, you know, which is developed over the time. The table, uh, you know, on the screen highlights these standards. For example, 802.11, which is the which provide radio frequency of 2.4. Then we have 11A, B, G, and the five, the five gigahertz. They are uh, on um, 8.211 AC and 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 also AX. Okay, so these are the frequencies where the five gigahertz operates. Try to remember some of these, I would say, uh, because they they might be in, in they might ask you an exam. So mainly it's AX and any double uh, letters code is basically sport five G, and also A and N sports five G as well. The rest of them they support uh, two point four gigahertz frequency. So that's one of the way to remember it. No saying I'm not saying it's perfect, but this is one of the way you can remember. <clears throat> now the radio frequencies. The all wireless device operate in a range of electromagnetic uh, spectrum. Uh, the v, uh, WLAN uh, or wireless network operate in either, as I mentioned, 2.4 or 5 gigahertz frequency band. Okay, in the T 2.4, as we looked at before, um, they support a radio frequency infrared. And while the, uh, then you got ultraviolet X rays, gammas, this is where you have a light frequency where you can see the light. Okay, and there are a number of wireless devices are also available. And this is this is quite popular um, to remember. This might be in your exam. Um, the frequency and the standards. So 2.4 is basically B G N A X, and the five is A N A C A X. Next one is uh, organization. Okay, these are the organization um, who basically uh, develop standards, who update the standards, who are responsible for making standards for wireless. Okay, the first one is the ITU, International Telecom uh, Telecommunication uh, J Union, that regulate the allocation of radio spectrum and satellite or orbits. While IEEE which is Institute of Electrical and Electronic Engineer, it specify how a radio frequency is modulated to carry information. Okay. And finally, we got the Wi-Fi Alliance that, that promote the growth and acceptance of uh, wireless LAN. Okay. It's an association of vendors, which is, um, you know, the vendors who provide the Wi-Fi is, whose objective is to improve the interoperability of the product that are based on, on um, 802 point 11 standards so these are the three organizations that um, that provide the standards for wireless technologies so that's the end of our uh, first session and uh, now we're going to move on to uh, wlan component you guys you have any questions so far okay so let's move then uh, on uh, components wireless components Okay, thank you, Sal. 
uh, we have a video online as well. I will highly recommend watching this video because it's going to cover everything which, which I'm going to cover now. Okay, we're going to look at the antennas, wireless routers, internet port, wireless access point, autonomous and controller based access points. So uh, do watch that video after this uh, session.